Hi folks. <laughs> so have you ever had this experience where like you needed to do something, but before you could do that, you had to do something else. And in order to do that, you had to do something else before that. And then anyway, <laughs> that's where I'm at with this. I need to start kale, lettuce, sugar snap peas, and bok choy. And I want just little tiny, tiny seedlings that I'm gonna put out in the greenhouse beds at the beginning of March, along with everything else that I'm gonna direct seed out there. So I need to get them started. I was supposed to start them yesterday. Um, but I need to get my light set up, figured out, and I've just got stuff stashed in here because I have nowhere else to put it. And before that, I had to um, clean out this section, which is half-assed cleaned out, in order I, so I could even just get up here. <laughs> and anyway, but then I'm realizing, you know what? For about a week or something, the little guys will be just germinating. So I don't really have to get my lights done. Like I can get the soil blocks, make the soil blocks, put the seeds in there, get the little guys going and germinating. And then maybe by the time they're ready to need lights, I'll have my lights set up, figured out. So anyway, if I get if, if I get the soil blocks going today, maybe I'll only be a few days late getting started. Okay, so I'm realizing that a lot of the stuff on these um, shelves um, can just, like this is just a tray of dirt that I can take out to the compost bin. These are soil blocks that I can use maybe for my sugar snap peas, but then these are just like containers. I can just move these outside. This is like, you know, and this is my scale. I think I've got a spot for this somewhere. And then some fertilizer and stuff. I probably don't really want outside to get all gross. But I might be able to just kind of stash those someplace else. And this has just been a storage shelf anyway too. So then I can kind of get this stuff out of here pretty easily I think. Okay, so this is one of the things that I had to do before I had to, could do other things before I could do other things. So this is... um my garden here la 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 and these are the greenhouse beds cucumber greenhouse basil greenhouse so i had to figure out what i was going to plant in each of these greenhouses you know early on before the cucumbers go out and before the basil goes out and how much of each of the plants i needed to do so anyway i thought and thought and thought and thought and I finally decided, okay, before the cucumbers, I'm going to plant early lettuce. So I need 72 plants. I'm going to just fill this bed. And in this bed, I will later direct seed, spinach, baby chard, orich. Um, but I don't need to do that now. But I do need to start some bok choy. And so I need 12 plants because I'm going to do some of the bed ends here and maybe some of the bed ends over here. And um, this is the basil greenhouse. And so I decided, okay, um, you know, because I do basil planted in two successions. First I do one full bed, and then later I'll start some in another bed. So um, I had to figure out, okay, w w the bed that's not gonna have any basil in it for the longest, um, I'm gonna put some sugar snap peas over here. So I need 54 plants. And then later uh, I'm gonna to direct seed some carrots at the beginning of March with everything else. And in this bed, I'm gonna do kale. So I need 72 plants. And um, then it, maybe some at the bed ends in this greenhouse, I might do some mustard or some radishes. Um, attracting slugs away, that is the whole purpose of the mustard, radishes, and bok choy at the bed ends. Ugly jokely, so I've done videos about soil block making before, um, but I'm just using this little guy right now to do the little teeny tiny um, the little teeny tiny lettuce, kale, and bok choy. And I'm just using these little these little lids for salad mixes. Let's see how this works. Oh my gosh, do these have holes in it? No, they're fine. Oh. my little guys. Oh no, there's some that are stuck in there. There's some that got stuck. Oh no. Should we do this all over again then? Yeah, let's. Okay. I make a 
mess. Okay. Um, oh, one of my little things is gone. Oh, no. He's all twisted. Oh, shoot, man. Well, that's weird. Oh, that's all right. Whatever. Alrighty. Here we go. Let's see if it'll all come out this time. Okay, yay. They all came out. Okay, so I got all my little guys down here. And now I need to make some bigger soil blocks. For um, the sugar snap peas. Yeah, and um, I did find some soil blocks that I made last year, and I found that if I rehydrate them, they seem to work, although I've never planted into rehydrated soil blocks. Um, I, need, I need maybe like 50. I probably don't need that many sugar snap peas, but um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this larger soil block maker. Not the largest one. I think I'm gonna go with this guy here. Um, and make enough, maybe just make up the rest of whatever soil I have in here. Oakley doakley. So here are all my soil blocks. I had so much soil that I was able to do a full tray. Um, and I had some extras. So I just put my little dry desiccated soil blocks um, back. And then I've got these little tiny guys. I sure wish they had like a, a size in between. But um, we will make do. you guys so I'm super happy to finally have these soil blocks seeded I bought uh, 52 sugar snap peas I just did one seed per cell but then I had extra soil blocks so I decided kind of like to do an experiment of some green onion sets so I put 12 little seeds in each of these cells I bought 26 of those and the plan is to plant them amongst my Salanova lettuce out in the greenhouse to see how they do because I actually want to do that this year out in the garden. So that'll be a little test. Um, right here I've got some bok choy in these little tiny soil blocks. And even though this is old seed, I only did one seed per cell because I've got 20 here and I only need 12 for the greenhouse bed ends. And so then this is um, 40 each, a total of 80 Italian kale. This is the Toscana. And since I had new seed for this year, I just did one seed per cell. And this is the Black Magic, which is old seed. And so I did two seeds per cell in these guys. And lastly, I've got uh, 40 each, a total of 80. Um, Salanova lettuce. This is red sweet crisp and this is green sweet crisp and they come in the little pelleted seeds and so I just did all I could do was one seed per cell even though it's old seed but it doesn't really matter any of this because it's all you know kind of an experiment you know part of this is to get stuff started so I can have stuff for us to eat as soon as possible. Um, but also when I have a greenhouse in the future a much bigger tunnel, then I'll be able to kind of know the timing of how this actually works out there. So last year when I um, did these little tiny soil blocks, I um, watered them with a wa like I think a watering can. Oh shoot. And um, it kind of makes the seeds swim, you know, and come to the top. And so I'm trying to be careful and just giving these guys a little drop. Oh shoot. 
Maybe I should take a little dropper. I'm just going to put a few drops in this thing because I just want the seed to get wet for the soil to kind of go around the seed. So I'm just gonna do this for all of these guys. Yeah, that's way better. It's not making the soil block kind of collapse. Uh, if I had a ton of these, this would not be a very fun job. Okay, so I've got all the little guys drip watered on top. And now I'm gonna go ahead and water these guys because they will hold up, no problem. And then all of these guys, the big guys and little guys will get bottom watered later on. Oakley doakley folklies, I'm cleaning this stuff out of here. Okay, so I got everything cleaned up off the floor and stashed in various places inside and outside of the house. And so I think that I'm gonna call that good for the week. Um, I need to reconfigure these lights, but I think what I'm gonna do is in the next couple of days, I'll get started on that. And I'll do a separate video next week as I'm fixing everything and explain why I'm doing that. Uh, so then hopefully that all happens in time for plants to germinate go under lights, be under there for just a little bit, and go out into the greenhouse at the beginning of March. Hopefully that all works out. Um, yeah, the growing season has started. I also want to let you guys know that, um, I don't know if you remember the Southeast Alaska Farmers Summit that was scheduled for the end of February. It got canceled because of COVID. Um, but what they're planning now is to do a kind of an informal Zoom conference and I'll be presenting um, at that little Zoom conference. And so if you're a Southeast Alaska or Alaska grower and you're interested in seeing all that, I'll leave information in the video description below for how to sign up for that. And so, yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. And the conference is next week, Saturday, February 26th, 2022. Okay. So it's the next morning. It's 68 degrees Fahrenheit right here by the window. And I ended up putting these tubs over the top of these little small soil blocks because I woke up this morning and some of them were completely dried out. This is right where the fan from the heater blows. So that's a problem. I ended up bottom watering all of these little small soil blocks and um, I keep these on top. These larger soil blocks seem to hold the moisture just fine. So I didn't even water these today. I'll, I'll probably water them tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I had a little bit of a blowout here <laughs> with the bok choy, but I think it's gonna be all right. Can you see the faux coffee tea sino that I have put cashew cream in that I made following the, the directions on Philzabub's channel where she's doing a series on veggie dairy. Um, let's see here. Delicious. 